What would be your biggest regret during your retro adventures? It's just chucking the stuff out. Um, chuck t chucking out PCs, PCXTs, uh, 286, 386, you know, all the Famicoms and things like that. It's just chucking and selling and I wish I had all that stuff again. Uh, my biggest regret would be, uh, yeah, getting, selling my first system, so it's, um, yeah, still, I still regret that as of today. So, so or oh, giving away a whole bunch of uh, kit. I had the Commodore 64, had uh, uh, an Amiga 500 uh, with the 1084S monitor, um, had three Cocos, uh, a couple of Commodore 64s, and yeah, I was moving, so I just had to sort of give it away. And, and actually, when I gave it away, a bloke, uh, a bloke showed up in a, in a big hat and a dress uh, with a trolley to pick it up. Uh, biggest regret was just getting rid of. I got given old stuff. I, I threw things out, didn't use all of these things, and it took until I was well into my forties to get back into this. Okay, that was that's my actual regret. Biggest regret? Um, I had a couple of those. They're console-based ones. So I had a couple of cool pieces of kit. So I was also into consoles at the time. We had a video store. We actually had a um, Sega Mega Drive arcade machine, which was a multi-card um, Mega Drive-based commercial arcade machine. And when the shop went bankrupt, um, we actually got to keep that machine and I have no idea what happened to it because I had it for a few years, it was sitting in my house and not too sure what happened after that. But you could actually have um, four Mega Drive cartridges in there, it had a coin mechanism and it would allow you to play maybe 10 minutes for a dollar or two dollars or whatever it was at the time. Would your biggest regret during the retro venture? Oh, losing all the equipment. Through a disaster, losing a whole shed full. Oh, not to not buying enough retro. Um, I stopped Amiga probably around 94, 95, and I uh, they went into PCs and emulation and stuff like that. And then I, I got back into retro. I bought a um, CD32 around 2005, and then um, it was only two years ago, three years ago, I got my Amiga 500 Plus back, and it was just I regret not continuing on all these years in between. Um, I bought a Cyberstorm Power PC card for it, um, which was actually, uh, and I upgraded it from the, it, came, it was an 0401 and I bought it and I upgraded myself to the 060, um, you know, at a time when you can actually buy 060s at, at a good price, now, you, now they're virtually, you know, that's the thing you probably, I, I regret, and, and actually that leads into what is a regret, one of the regrets maybe is probably selling that now, knowing how much they're worth, but my, um, Getting given a classroom full of two E's, Apple two E's, and seeing having them be chucked out to the tip face. Our biggest regret was just getting rid of. I got given old stuff. I I threw things out, didn't use all of these things, and it took until I was well into my forties to get back into this. Okay, that was that's my actual regret. I sold a copy of Metal Gear 2 for the MSX uh, when I was out of work and I really wish I didn't because it's like only increased in value since then and it's a fantastic game and I'm sad that I don't have it anymore. Oh yes, I've actually got one of these. My biggest regret was when I moved from the UK to Australia, I gave my all my Amiga and all my collection to my son and when I went back a few years after I emigrated to go and get it, it was all thrown in the bin. So a big regret was giving it all to my son. Crazy. All right. All right. So. Let's see.